Almost no one likes doing household chores, but most people don't have a choice. They have to do them. However, there's a new generation of robots that may be ready to change all that. As John Blackstone reports, that high-tech breakthrough could also change us. It shoots pools, yeah! bakes cookies from scratch, and maybe most importantly, can fetch and open a beer. It's the most advanced personal robot in a galaxy that isn't quite so far, far away. This robot can do things that people can do. This real-world robot is called the PR2. It's the creation of Silicon Valley's Willow Garage, where CEO Steve Cousins is working to spawn a new industry in personal robots. Think about Rosie from the Jetsons, but maybe without the attitude. I may be homely, Buster, but I'm S-M-A-R-T smart. But, but is that realistic? Is Rosie realistic? Rosie's a cartoon, right? But the idea that you can have a robotic device that can move around in a human space and do things for us is real. That's actually happening. Booty, booty, something from the bar, sir. While fantasies of robotic maids may still be a dream, the field of robotics is progressing rapidly, and the PR2 is at the center of that progress. We created this open source software platform that is what Windows is to the PC. Everybody's sharing software, and we can make progress to this future where we see robots. Until Willow Garage created the PR2, each robotics researcher had to build their own robot from scratch before they could even begin experimenting. But you spent so much time building and maintaining that contraption that your research would be really slowed down. Peter Abiel at UC Berkeley got one of the 11 PR2s that Willow Garage gave to university researchers who agreed to share their work to speed the evolution of artificial intelligence. Abiel decided to teach his robot to fold laundry. Not as mundane a task as you might think. The big challenge in robotics right now is how to make robots deal with variability. Whenever things change around the robot, it needs to understand what it is that has changed and how to act on it. Any time you present a pile of laundry, it's going to be different. You're manipulating these towels, t-shirts, and so forth. The more variability, the harder the task is going to be. To be of practical use in the home, robots need to figure out a changing world around them. To do that, the PR2 is loaded with sensors that reveal its surroundings in 3D. It knows I'm here and sees me in detail. But while seeing is one step, understanding is another. Are you two enjoying the party? I'm functioning normally. As am I. At the forefront of robotic help will be aid for senior citizens, as in the recent film, Robot and Frank. You're starting to grow. Thank you, Frank. It's time for your enema. If we can program a way for machines to learn, then they could have a lot more intellectual capabilities after a while. You don't have to program everything the machine does you teach the machine to think by itself? Exactly. We want to allow the machine to watch people do things and learn from that. And it just kind of fumbles around with things and after a while realizes, oh, this is how this works. You take good care of Master Luke now, understand? Since its inception, the robot has been imagined as both a helpful friend and a force that learned too much and became dangerous to its human inventors. You are experiencing a car accident. Do we have to worry about robots taking over the world sometime? It has no intention of taking over the world unless somebody programs the robot and says, you know, what you're supposed to do is kill all humans. There are evil people. There are evil world. people who might do that, right? But even if they did, at the end of that, so the robots killed all humans, it doesn't have anything to do next, right? It doesn't have like, oh, now what should I do? I well, should, you know, procreate or something, right? They don't do that. While those tired of folding laundry may be tempted to buy a PR2, the $400,000 price tag is a bit steep. Still, with robotics advancing quickly, a future free of household chores may one day be priceless. Okay, good job. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco. This is an interesting phenomenon. They've been talking about robots taking over and all the things they can do for a long time. It seems to have taken a big step now, and the technology is there to make it much more effective and have much more impact than ever before. Yeah, it's incredible. People Just like... think of all the things you'd like for robots to start doing for you. Exactly. I love that. I love that it can get you a beer. <laughs>